Right now we're overlooking the headwaters of Trout Creek. This is kind of what we refer to as Trout Creek Draw in the Greater Little Mountain uh, watershed area. The soils are very fragile. The draws in between around this area, not just within Trout Creek, but the whole Current Creek watershed, Sage Creek watershed, provides abundant um, protection and uh, critical habitat that supports mule deer and elk and antelope during our harsh winters in this state. It makes it very valuable for fishermen and anglers as, as uh, recreation opportunities out here, particularly for hunters. Some of the prize areas up here are very difficult um, to get uh, hunting licenses. Um, and the citizens value this area so much from the entire state to the, the local citizens just north of here in the Rock Springs Green River area. These communities uh, depend on this area for their source of enjoyment to get away from it all. Because as you've seen, we hardly see anybody out here. It's um, getting close to hunting time. And there's just a quality of diversity in the habitat from the mountains, aspen, all the way down into the desert, um, high desert sagebrush, and the Flaming Gorge, which is behind us, supports uh, high recreational fisheries. And it's popular with not just Wyoming residents, but Utah and Colorado residents as well, in addition to people from all over you know, the West. In the last year and a half or so, we've been experiencing some threats that the uh, rest of Wyoming seems to be experiencing, and that has to do with um, the oil and gas development and the rush to come in and, and um, develop these resources that we have an abundance of in this state. And while they're valuable, and we recognize that, we also um, recognize that there's a limit to what we should be developing, and this area um, should be the limit. We should not be developing in sensitive places like this. As I mentioned, the soils are very sensitive, and when you bring in oil and gas development, you bring in roads and pipelines and air pollution and water pollution from sedimentation, and you bring in all the industrialization uh, that constitutes um, the drilling enterprise. When trout keep getting siltation and sedimentation in the water, that affects their ability to survive, to reproduce, to spawn, and uh, to thrive. There are several large companies that are buying up leases uh, in this area for the oil and gas potential. And we are now working with the BLM, which is, this is BLM land, and we're working with Game and Fish, and we're working with the governor's office to try and um, work up some solutions for, for managing and protecting these areas.